Get it? All you're gonna do is get weights like this. Oh! <laughs> the net does work. Let's catch him up. Woo! It's catch him all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. Guys, welcome back to a video. We're gonna teach you how to throw a cast net today. I have right. Joey Slam out here with the long net because we're gonna catch fish too. We also have Farley to help I us demonstrate how to throw the net. So, boom, we have another way to throw the net. You can get this at any local Walmart and the nets vary from Walmart to Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, anywhere you're gonna get a net, even online, the nets just vary, guys. So, what you're gonna wanna do is get a net with heavier weights if you're casting onto uh, places like deeper water, like salt water or really deep lake, somewhere with, that doesn't have a lot of structure. But, you wanna get a light, nice little shallow water net. All you're gonna do is get weights like this. They look like pieces of plastic almost. That'll do very, very well in pretty much any setting, but that's what's gonna be readily available to you in most locations and most situations, guys. Cast nets can be pretty expensive, but thanks to today's sponsors, Rage Shadow Legends, they got us covered, so we're able to bring this free tutorial to you guys. This epic free-to-play game is available in the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store and even PC. So you got your mobile devices and your desktop versions. This game is amazing, it's addictive, it's fun to play, but don't just take my word for it. Download the game using the link provided below, and once you open the game, you'll realize that these graphics, these 3D graphics, are amazing, and the storyline is even better. This game right here is completely customizable with over 400 characters to choose from. My personal favorite is Gilly. He's a straight beast and with one swipe of his axe, it's game over for his opponents. Speaking of characters, let's go to the summoning portal. Alright, so we're inside the summoning portal. Let's focus on the blue shards. We have the chance of getting a rare epic or legendary champion. Let's open it up and see what we get. Oh my god, this guy's scary. But he is a star 3, so he's pretty good. We'll keep him, but my god, he's scary looking. All right, let's open up another shard. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on. All right, so level three. Easy on the eyes, a little, a little creepy looking. She's rare, so we'll keep her for sure. All right, let's open up one more shard, see what we get. Look at her, look at her. She's some type of bad warrior princess. She's also rare, so I'm excited about that. We're gonna keep her. What's cool is there's no character that's just a waste. You can use those characters that you find to be not as good and sacrifice them and upgrade your favorite characters. This game is never ending. Call to arm in raid mode. Challenge yourself to your edge in the ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire raid community while fighting in the spider's den, ice golem peak, the almighty fire knight, or the notorious dragon in order to win awesome rewards and rare artifacts. Again guys, the link will be in the description below. Use this special link to get a bunch of rewards. That's right, we said rewards. Go to the video's description, click on that special link, and if you're a new player, you'll get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP booster, one free epic champion, Shaman. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck and I'll see you there. And guys, if you're not playing this game, honestly, you're missing out. So download the game, join our clans. Mine's gonna be the Wild Wild of Farley. Catch them all fishings will be Zach Catch them. All right, guys, I hope to see you there. Now back to our tutorial. So I'm gonna open this fresh net because I did get it from Walmart and I wanted to get what we could also just get anywhere, pretty much anywhere in the US anyway, and probably around the world. I'm sure you could pick up most of these cast nets on Amazon. I bought cast Amazon. nets on Amazon. That's where I got this from, actually. Okay, boom, just like that. In Louisiana, all over the place, I've had all different, all different types of nets. So I'm opening this bad boy up right now so you can see how it comes. All nets come differently, but most of them come balled up like this. Check this out, guys. This is a seven foot net. Now, a seven foot net is my preferred length because I can catch anything in fresh water. It's not gonna be too wide of an opening. It's not gonna cover the entire like lake and I'm not gonna catch all the rocks in the world. But also in the salt water, it's gonna be wide enough that I'm still gonna get some pilchard, some mullet. I'm still gonna get some solid bait fish in this net. So this is seven feet long. Now that's how you know, cause I'm six foot tall. And we're just gonna open this up first. Make sure it doesn't have any tangles or kinks. That's the first thing you're gonna do. So I'm just gonna throw it how I normally throw it in all my YouTube videos. This is one way to put this over your wrist. Check this out. When you're throwing from land, this is how you wanna put this on your wrist. Boom, it's like a noose, so you will not lose that net. But if you're throwing from the ocean, definitely just go ahead and put your wrist like that. Because although you may lose your net, you will not lose your life because this will get stuck on a rock 
and then it'll pull you right down into the current and you'll be gone. You have no idea what you'll throw this net onto. You could throw it onto a shark or a tarpon. It could literally rip you out of the boat. So don't mess around with that in salt water. I do not use a noose method in salt water. I use that in the fresh stuff from land. Okay, zoom into Farley's. Some nets come with something like this. Fancy. It makes it a lot more comfortable. I feel like they're gonna make this mandatory sooner or later. But anyway, what you wanna do first, step one, I got my net out, all the kinks are out. We're good to go, we're untangled. And you always wanna pay attention for tangles. Put the rope, just like an extension cord, in my hand. I'm gonna stack it in the right hand. Notice, this is all going to my right hand. This is all th being thrown with my dominant hand. Next, I'm grabbing it by the horn. That is about eight inches below the horn. That little tiny red circle, whatever, keeps all these little strings together. That's what pulls the, your net together once you throw it. So I'm grabbing it just like this, all still in my right hand, correct? Make sure it's fully extended. And I'm gonna grab it about halfway to three quarters of the way down, all still going into my right hand. Check that out. All of this is in my right hand, so you gotta make sure you do a little workout before you're throwing a heavier net. Lightweight nets like this work for everybody, so don't be ashamed, just practice and you'll get better. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one piece of this that's on my left side, so boom. That's all I'm gonna do is grab that one little piece and I'm placing it in these three fingers, just like that. And that's what I'm gonna do. It's all going in the right hand. So I'm holding on to that piece. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing, so pay attention. Oops. Now, I'm opening this up, using your leg to divide the weights in half. Got that? The weights are in half, you see? Perfect, boom. Now, this is really where you have to pay attention. The weights are in half. You can see this is facing me, just like this. Now I'm going to, check this out, zoom into my hands. I'm going to go under here and put this over. Now I'm gonna do that again for you. I know that's confusing, okay? So I have the weights in half, now zoom out. I have the weights in half, check this out. I'm putting my hand under and over. You got that? I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys, so, so you don't have to rewind. <clears throat> Biting the weights in half, putting my hand under and over, just like that. Now, this is all still in my right hand. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this. Now, this little piece, the weights that we divided, one's on that side and one's on the other. So when I swing, the majority of the weights are gonna open up my net for me. So, now I'm grabbing this little piece of half of the weights that are closest to my left side if I'm throwing with my right hand. And if, you, if it was with your left hand on the other side, I'd be grabbing this side. So disregard that. What I'm gonna do is grab this one little piece and I'm ready to throw. Now, when I'm throwing the net, I'm throwing it like an Olympian. I'm not keeping my hand up this way though. When I'm actually throwing, my hand is gonna look like that. You understand? So check this out. I'm gonna throw the net Right onto the dry land over here. Stay where you are. I'm gonna throw it right in front of me, okay? You get it? Just like that. Boom, look at the net. That's opened up almost completely without any real effort. Now that the net is open, once you bring it in, it's gonna close up on the bottom. All the weight should be dragging on the bottom and you want it to close up and all your fish are gonna be stuck on the side. So that's what you wanna do. So now we're gonna to reload together in real time. Quickly reload the net. There's some bait fish behind us, guys. So, boom. I, putting this on, boom, good to go. Remember, in fresh water, it's gotta be what? Like less than half an inch in size. I got me a big one. Grab it by the horn, halfway down. All in the same hand. Boom. Halfway. Half the weights in one hand. Make sure you're checking for tangles. We're good. Now, up and over. Have the majority right in there. I'm still holding. Still holding on. 
Now I have this little piece. Now let's look around for some fish. Come on. Check out the throw though, pay attention to the throw. See how that sinks? Let it sink. Definitely got a little something. It's shiny. Got something shiny in here. Some shiny, shiny. Uh oh, nice open up, Farley. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, looks <laughs> yeah, like Farley got one too. Bring that bad boy over here. Go ahead and get in the water. Check this out, guys. And just like that, we could use this for some solid bass bait. Uh oh. Ow, ow, ow. He's out here dancing. Just like that. We could use this for some solid bass bait, dude. Check that out. My red tail is gonna love this. Yeah. So I'm gonna oh. go ahead and throw <laughs> this bad boy back. What? That's a native species, but this guy, check this out. Let me see farther. You got him? Yeah. That's it. Invasive tilapia. That thing is food for Farley's fish. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas, bro. I appreciate you. Dude, if you learn how to throw this cast net, you will be super happy. It'll be amazing for applications just for getting bait in general. But don't forget, check out the laws because you cannot keep certain game fish. Just anything pretty much that's a game fish, you cannot catch in a cast net and keep it. So pay attention to those. But anything like mullet, bait fish like that, exotic fish, invasive fish, you can catch with a cast net and keep it. So. Why not? Give it a shot right here. Nice. All right. This is I'm gonna let it sink. Oh, I had something hit this net big time. Oh, dude, you loaded up. Oh my God, I don't think I got it. What you get? I don't know. Oh, you got it. Is that red here? Mayan? Dang it, dude. I got another Mayan. Oh my God, dude. There was something giant in this net, but all of the muck, let that fish go straight down and escape. Darn. Loading up. The net's really dirty right now. But honestly, I would suggest getting a CUDA net. Something different, maybe one from Bass Pro, because this has not been performing the way I want it to. So after this net, it's going into <laughs> After this video, this net's going into retirement. But at least you guys know how to throw it now. Let's see what's out here. It got stuck on my fingers. But sometimes you still get lucky. Oh my God, bro. What a haul. <laughs> there you go. The worst throw all day. The worst throw all day. Got stuck in my fingers. All the muck is everywhere. And look how much we caught for our fish, guys. This is ridiculous. You got a mixture of everything. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. So the net does work. Also, not my favorite. But check this out. Jumping fish. All these guys will be very, all these fish will make our fish very happy. A couple bait fish. Look at those bluegills. Check out that. Peacock that bass one? candy, largemouth bass candy, clown knife fish candy. We're gonna keep these bluegills and on a future episode, we're gonna catch some giants with them. Thank you, Joey Slam. There's one more right there. Four bluegills, my God. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna keep all the mines. We're gonna feed these guys. Snook candy right here. Snook dude. candy. Bass candy. Big bass candy. <laughs> Big bass candy too, man. One good throw, boom. Nice off. All this stuff, they're gonna no, keep jumping out of your hands. But all these guys will feed our fish forever, guys. Oh, oh the blue wheel wants to jump out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Now you guys know how to throw a net, so you can join me on some of these adventures and catch some giants, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Catch them all fishing, Zach. Catch them, guys. And thank you guys also, Farley. Yeah, yeah. Joey. Gotcha. <laughs> and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up!